Hey guys, what is up? Today, I'm going to tell you the story about this teacher I had who is about, I don't know, um, probably about five million years old. I think, I think that's probably a good age gauge. Age gauge, ooh, bars, I'm a poet, I don't even know it. But anyway, this lady had an extremely short temper, unlike her lifespan, and well, she looked like that redhead feminist had a baby with one of the um, golden girls. So yeah, gives you a good idea of what I had to deal with on a daily basis. But what she would do was, she would make a stand up and sing to some crap CD that was almost older than her. Okay, I'll stop joking. Nothing's quite that old. But it was, it was pretty old. It was like, and we had to sing the same songs each year. So you think we'd know it? No, no, none of us even sang it. It was just a CD playing on us moving our lips. But she would go by, and she would walk by each person to make sure they are singing, put her ear up to it, and it was, it was a cringe. But you would look... And she'd be walking around. And you could hear how each how each person would sing louder, so she'd go away and keep singing. It was like the wave, but with her voices. Because once she passed, they would stop. It was really funny. But when she wasn't making us sing, she was teaching us some crap or something about. I don't even know what it was. Probably some slideshow about how the youth is going to kill us because they're all communists from the 1960s or something like that. I don't know. But she, one day, she decided to turn around, and I had this kid beside me, and I would always sit with the with two legs. You know, you lean back and you sit with two legs. Well, she decided that she would just completely ignore us three, my best friend. Um, me and this kid, and this kid, you should always do too much. And I was leaning back in that chair, and he pushed me. And I smacked my head in the back of the um wall, and it wasn't just like a wall. The smart board was back there, so I smacked my head on the smart board, and that hurt. But it made the loudest noise I've ever heard. She somehow didn't hear my head. But we all but we all started to laugh because it was funny, like really quiet. And then she turned around. This woman had selective hearing. Ugh. And then she proceeds to send me out in the hallway. And then she comes out and says some crap to me or something, and I go back in. And then at the end of the class, she calls me to her desk and she pulls this drawer out of her desk, and on there is a piece of paper, and it's legit a blacklist of students with their parents' numbers on it. So I wrote my name down and my number, and got up and left. She never called my parents or anything. She just made me write down the number. So, moral of the story is, there is no moral. Just don't take this class, okay? If you do, rip. But, anyway, guys... Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, bro.